Let's learn how to jump on a unicycle. If you know how to ride a unicycle, great. If not, you can take a look at this video. Here are the three big things you'll need to know when learning how to jump on a unicycle. But first, let's talk about jumping in general. To jump normally, you essentially push down into the floor and accelerate your body up. The lower you preload, the more time you have to accelerate, the faster you're moving when your feet leave contact with the ground, which translates to a higher jump. Also, it's shown that arm swing increases your vertical by 28%. This makes intuitive sense, since if you ever try to jump without using your arms, you feel sluggish and heavy. Jumping with a unicycle is very similar to jumping without one, with a few small exceptions. Which brings us to our first tip. Unfortunately, the saddle keeps you from dipping your hips a lot lower than you would on a normal jump. And as we said before, leg range of motion relates to a higher jump. Therefore, you're really gonna have to rely on shortened ankle and hip power to get you airborne. You can open your legs to bring the saddle out in front of you. This gives you more range of motion and makes for jumping more efficient. However, it's much less stable. When the saddle is in between your legs, it's harder for the, the cycle to tilt left and right. But when the saddle is out in front, it's free to tilt without barriers. It's much easier to learn how to jump with the seat under you, not in front of you. The, when the saddle is out in front of you, it's easier to jump high, but it's harder to stay balanced. Pick your poison. The second tip is without anything attaching you to the cycle, you're just gonna jump straight off. You're gonna quickly need to jump and then bring the unicycle with you. The easiest way to do this is hold the front part of the unicycle while you jump. You're essentially going to jump and then right as you're about to leave the unicycle, pull it up with you to carry it along for the ride. There are other ways to jump but not hold the saddle, but this is by far the easiest way to do it. Lastly, because one arm is holding the unicycle, you don't have both hands available to swing and aid in your jump. So one will have to do it unless you have jacked thighs and can clench the seat with them. Counts. This counts. The last tip is finding the optimal crank position to jump. Now, this isn't as much of a tip as it is an explanation. If you've practiced jumping a few times, you'll notice that it's easiest to jump when the crank is horizontal and parallel with the floor. If you thought that, then you're right. When your crank is vertical, the second your extended leg finishes pushing down into the pedal, the crank is free to move wherever it wants. Your leg can't help you jump if the force is going towards pushing the pedal down, not pushing you up. You're essentially limited by every crank position that deviates from completely horizontal. Now, if you're planning out your jump, you can always measure from where you're going to be taking off from and roll the unicycle back to where you're starting your run up. Then you know roughly where you need to start and what crank position to start at. If you can't measure out your jump, you'll just have to either get lucky or jump at the non-optimal crank position, but that's okay. Those are essentially the three big takeaways for jumping on a unicycle really exaggerate hip movement, pull the saddle handle with you as you're leaving the ground, and try your best to jump with the crank horizontal. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know how it goes in the comments. Good luck.